Hi, I'm Brian. I'm one of the instructors at the Computer Workshop, and I'd like to welcome you back to the next installment of our IFS video series. And in this video, we are going to be presenting the is number formula. Now, this formula will return a true or false value based on whether or not a given cell being searched contains numeric data or not, as the name implies. To start with, I'm going to just go over and look at the syntax of this formula, which is quite simply is number, and then inside of the parentheses are arguments or our cell that we're searching. Now in the example you can see here, in cell B5, we have the result of our search formula. So we were searching for the dash A dash inside of cell A2, and that would return a numeric value as to where it was located within the cell A2. Now, if it did not find that value, it would return a value error because it could not find that. Now we want to go ahead and know if what we searched for was found in that cell by just saying true or false. So if we look at this formula, equal is number, and then the cell B2, does it contain a number or not? When we know that it contains a number, or it does contain a number, I should say, we want it to say true. If it doesn't, we want it to say false. So this is going to be a great way to determine if a cell has been formatted as text or contains date information instead of numeric data for those times that you might need that. I'm going to go ahead and control enter to see this and that gives you an idea of how this formula works. Now let's put this into a practical application here. In this file we have already run the search to determine whether or not the state of Ohio or Pennsylvania or New York happens to be in cells held, <coughs> pardon me, in the cells in the column D relative to each record. Now we want this to just return and tell us is Ohio there, true or false? And we're going to use the end result of our search. So I'm going to zoom in, make this as legible as possible. As with all other formulas, it begins with an equal. I'm going to begin to type in the I, S, N, and then finally U to really zero in on the function that I'm looking for. So I have my is num highlighted. I'll use the tab key to enter that. And then I will simply go ahead and select the cell that I want to search. And in this case, that will be cell H2. That is all that this formula needs, so we are done. I'm going to use my control enter shortcut, thereby keeping the same cell actively selected after applying the formula. And then I can use my autofill handle, the lower right corner, a quick double click, and I'm going to have that entire column telling me true or false as to whether Ohio is in that cell. Now, of course, we are determining this based off of looking at a search. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and tie together the if num, or I should say the ifs, with the is num and the search all in a single written, in a single cell formula to do all these calculations without having to split our data into multiple columns and thereby just keeping things as neat and tidy as possible. So I hope that you've enjoyed this little quick tutorial. If you have, please feel free to subscribe and see what's coming up next week. Uh, until then, I hope that you all take care.